Welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. I'm Jacqueline. We talk about how Polish helps us with our overall mental and physical well-being. And it's June. And you know what that means. Summer. Well, it's summer, <laughs> but it's also our birthstone series. Oh, yeah. She doesn't even know what intro we're doing. No, I don't. I don't have <laughs> it's any always idea. a big surprise to her. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, June. And we're going to be doing our June birthstone manis and yeah this is a really weird one because you know i disagree with Christa, i know but... you do but here's the thing so and it's true for we've talked about this for every month there's always the traditional and then there's the non-traditional stones that they pick for each month but for june it's even more the lines are really blurred as to what's traditional and what's not so in the vast amount of research that i did on it the overwhelming majority said the traditional birthstone for june is pearl and I've, I've never heard of that until you said it. Really? I always thought it was Alexandrite. Okay, I've heard I Alexandrite. Grew, I grew up my whole life thinking it was Alexandrite. Yeah, it's Pearl. Pearl, um, Alexandrite is the other one, and then also Opal and Moonstone. If you have a birthday in June, chime in on this, Exactly. Please. What do you what, what do, do you, you think? What do you think is your birthstone? So I'm that, that would be frustrating if you were a June birthday oh, absolutely. and you didn't know. And, and different places say different things. And, you know, there are some places that I saw no Alexandrite at all. Interesting. I saw only Pearl, Moonstone and um, opal, hmm. you know, on it. So Well, I may, uh, you told me that I couldn't make an Alexandrite polish because that's did. what I wanted to do. But because, okay, and here, here's my thinking on it, just let, so you guys all understand. I, I disagree with her because all I ever knew was Alexandrite. Because, here's the thing. I almost made one and you would have just shut me down. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. We are going to be doing this, we're continuing on with this series even after the year is over, and then we're going to go back and do the non-traditional ones. So that's see, why. that is the traditional one I know, I get it. I understand. But, you know, it's what everything that I could look up and see is But I mean, I'm not young, cool. and I, that was the birthstone that I chose for my mm -hmm. um, class ring in high school. And it was the June birthstone. That's interesting because I have an actual charm on a gold bracelet that was from a June birthday from a family member, and it has a pearl on it. Oh, so, gosh. yeah. Can't so win, I mean, win. you can't, you can't, you can't, can't win, win on it. So, I don't know. And then, and then on top of that, you look at pearls, and I mean. They can, they're all different colors. They're all different. Yeah, they can have different. I'm gonna and, do a black pearl then. Yeah, since you you're can. Gonna and make I've seen me, that. Yeah, you can yeah, do that. Do I've seen pearl. that before. I didn't bring polishes for black pearl, but I I did see that in some places in I'm my totally research. I'm totally doing a black pearl. So because I don't want to do pearl. It's too and boring. it makes you wonder if um, if like if it's because if, whether it's pearl or alexandrite then the meanings are going to be different, right? Um, right. Pearl's going to have a different meaning than yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. So it's going to be. Like I said, we'll I have, have an idea. I'll make a black pearl polish while you're doing your um, oh, brother summer ride. Oh, great! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna awesome. do. Awesome. <laughs> okay, well, so I'll have it. So maybe by the, by the time we get the camera turned around and we start doing this, she will have a black pearl polish. Maybe there you go. Maybe, maybe. maybe. we'll see. We'll have to see how well she does on it. So <laughs> you'll see it regardless, whether it's pretty or not. Exactly. I'll show it. All right. That'll there make me happy. Let's see how fast she can make a polish. <laughs> just like that. All right. Okay, let's get the camera turned around. All right, we're gonna get started. So, and what Jacqueline ended up doing is she definitely made, what'd you make, two black? I attempted to make two black pearl, pearl. polishes. So, One of and them... I haven't seen them yet. She wouldn't even let me look at them. Okay, so, we'll, so we'll, we'll laugh about it a little. All right, let's get started. So the first one um, for pearl that I picked out is from Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. It's from their Lux, Lux finish, which is called Silk Is. And I mean, to me, this definitely is a pearl it's got a pearl finish definitely um so yeah i figured this one looks like a pearl and jacqueline's gonna read some interesting facts and meanings behind what pearls stand for well i'm gonna say how they're i'm gonna talk about how they're made first we might all have oh. an idea of how pearls are made or how they come from they're the only organic birthstone and uh, because they're made inside of a living being pearls are gems formed inside a mollusk such as an oyster a piece of grit or irritant will enter the mollusk shell and a substance called, I don't know how to pronounce this, nacre, nacre, how did you say it? Nacre. Nacre begins to form around it. The substance covers the piece of grit entirely, protecting the mollusk's soft insides from the object. The layers harden and grow over time and a pearl is formed. So I think it's interesting because a lot of people think that pearls are made just from a grain of sand and that's not necessarily true. It doesn't it can be have, anything. It can be any irritant that's in there. It's their way of kind of protecting themselves is by forming so those So it's a defense or, mechanism. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so. we get this beautiful gem. I wonder who yeah. discovered that. Like yeah. I, that'd be wild. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
I'm sure they were just probably looking for food and opened up a oyster or whatever, and then there Saw it was. this little rock oh, in there. Yeah, well, <laughs> pearl popped out there, so. All right, anything else interesting before I go to my next one? It says it's the birthstone for June right here. I know, it's the birthstone I disagree. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it's a so the stone associated with the zodiac sign Gemini. Oh, yeah, well, of course, because it goes with, yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, the next one that I picked out was this one from China Glaze. And this one is called Snow Way. And I got this one, I think I think it was Carolina from Gotta Love Polish that just made me get this one because, you know, she she influenced me to get it. But it's basically a white with just that shimmer. It looks like a pearl. So like a pearlish shimmer there. Look at how pretty that is on camera. That yeah, that is pretty. Shimmer. Yeah, so. Well, and that's one of the things that's interesting about the pearl is how many different colors of right? pearls there actually yeah. are. Yeah, and I'm doing just basically, well, I'm doing different versions of white and creamy ones, but like we said, we're going to do the They come in pink, black. they come in brown, yeah. black, yeah, they come and in all large. forms of white and cream. And also they have fresh water and, you know, the, yes. the fresh water ones are not very round, but, you know, that was pretty. Okay, anything else? Another fact? Uh, yes, they are connected with sweetness, innocence, and purity. And I think we kind of uh, all know that. Sweetness, innocence, and purity. Yeah. Because the pretty. girl that's portrayed wearing her pearls is always the girl that is like the goody goody, you know? That's true. You're right. Like right when in, in uh, Greece, wasn't that what Sandra did? Yeah, she, she always had her pearls on. And then I always think about Barbara Bush when um, George Ah, Bush which is the next one. They're yeah. tied to female power, which is one of the reasons they're ah. favored by famous female politicians. Yeah, female power. So, yeah. I, and I I mean, I my grandparents gave me a string of pearls, and I, I remember wearing them like in grad school and stuff when I had big things going on. I wore my, my pearl strand. So, yeah. All right. Let's look at another polish here. Um, this is new. We haven't even hauled it yet. I found this at the thrift store and it's pure ice because pure ice doesn't make polishes anymore. And this, I guess, is going to be leaning more towards the pinky yeah, side definitely. of pearl. Um, so I don't, I'm new to this one. I have no idea. How, it's called First Love. I don't know how it's going to swatch. I don't know if it's going to be super sheer, but if anything screams pearl, that's yeah, going to be it. Yeah, it does. Right? Yeah. All right. So let's try it on here and see how it does. Maybe to hold or is it staying? Yeah, I think it might be help, help me hold in there. That would be nice. Thank you. Okay. Oh, look at that. I love the pink on it. Well, that's pretty. It's really pretty. I'm shocked. The pearl is um, said to bring love, luck, and wisdom to the wearer. Love, luck, and wisdom. Excellent. We could all use that. Exactly. Like, who, who wouldn't need that? Who wouldn't want that, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you're noticing that I have two that on the end here are both swatched, that's because we're going to do combos for the other day. I have like some toppers that I want to do with it. So um, that's why those two are swatched. And if you want to know what I swatched them with, I'm using OPI's um, Alpine Snow is what is swatched on these last two. And so why don't you give us another fact and then I'm going to start with my first uh, swatch here. What you got um, fact? This is really interesting. Pearls require stable conditions and clean water to remain healthy and produce beautiful pearls. As a result, pearl farmers are active environmentalists who champion unpolluted oceans and freshwater wow. ecosystems. Wow. Okay, so that's really, that is really interesting that, per, okay, so since pearls have to have fresh, clean water, people that are in the pearl market are going to yep. promote good environment. So yep. that's awesome. All right, so on top of the first OPI um, Alpine Snow, I'm going to put this one on. Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and that's uh, Kathleen and Co.'s White Beta Opal Beta. I always want to say White Beta Opal, but it's White Opal Beta. So yeah, we got the pretty pink shimmer in there too. Kind of. Well, this one's more pearl. I was like, like it kind of looks like the pure ice one, but this one is. I feel like my um, nails are a detraction to your. It's bright. Pearl. <laughs> those those orange brights are yeah <laughs> definitely. That one's pretty. Yeah, and I like it over the white. And I'm doing it over white because this, not that it has to be over, but it just, I found that with this particular it's polish. It's pretty sheer. It's really sheer, and so it just does better on top of on top of something, so. Well, I think um, the neatest thing that I, about a pearl is um, that it's organic. I think that's a really cool thing. Yeah, we talked about like that. It, right? I know, but I think it's pretty neat yeah. because none of the rest of them are. Right. Well, because it's not really a gemstone really i mean it's a gemstone but it's not a gemstone right but it comes from a live it's not like yeah. it comes from a you know yeah it comes from a live organism instead so, yeah. of being a yeah. mind thing um they've been a symbol of wealth and luxury due to their rarity elegance and delicacy nice so it's been and i think they said who was it what was the area of the world that that they used them as 
the, uh, in the Persian Gulf. That's what they said. Oh. In the Persian Gulf, um, it was been around for centuries and centuries um, and used a lot in jewelry and those kind of things. Huh. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, the, the next one on top of this other opi, um, opi alpine snow, I'm going to put on the Zoya, which is Leia from Zoya, which is probably one of their very first toppers that they ever put out. So, and yeah, that one I think definitely is going to give it a pearl, pearly shimmer for sure. I have glitter all over my hands. <laughs> Oops. I still, I, I can't believe that I've had this one in my collection forever and I still don't have a Z wide brush on it. <sighs> oh, all right. What do you think about that? Do they all look like pearl polishes? They do. They look like white pearls for sure. They so. do. All right. So, um, you got another another one for us? Yeah, pearls are often associated with the moon due to their shape, color, and ethereal shine. Okay, so associated with the moon. And Vedic texts consider pearls to be the daughters of the moon, born of the earth's water and heaven's powers. Ah, oh, that's cute. Yeah. And then, um, so I think it's interesting because that they're associated with the moon because one of the alternative stones for June is moonstone. So that sort of makes sense yeah, that, that they associate pearls with, yeah, so no, it's a good connection there. So Okay, and now for the dark side of pearl. Uh-oh, there's a dark side? Yeah, the black. Oh, okay, the black pearl. We're going we're gonna to swatch the black Okay, ones. all right, oh, I, thought you meant, I thought you meant there was going to be like a bad thing about like no. the meaning behind pearl. Okay, so and we're, we will do second coats on those other ones, but um, we're bringing out the new nail swatch here because Jacqueline made two black pearl polishes. I'm going to give you the first one and it's a fail, but okay. it's a really pretty polish. <laughs> it is a pretty polish, but it's definitely not black pearl. All right. So go ahead and move. So, Ooh, that is wild. I don't think that falls into the pearl category. I don't know. Maybe. I think it does. Uh, Tahitian pearls can yeah, sometimes Yeah. Do they look have, like that? The I don't know. Let's topi. see. What's that? Uh, I think it's a nice, there. uh, polish. It's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. It just might not be exactly what I'm what you were for. going for. Right. No, I don't. You, think. She had some new ingredients that she wanted to play with. I so, was so excited. So when we came, when she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna make a black black pearl," and and again, these guys, guys, these are prototypes I made in like five minutes. Yeah, so she just they're like, not like together, perfect. So. They're just fun. Actually, I really like that. Do you? I, I do. like it's it really, too really, as really a pretty. regular polish. Yeah. All right, and and then this then the one other is one more is of a hit. That one is definitely more of a black pearl. <sighs> so oh, it's got it has blue. Oh, you have ghost flake, blue glow fake in there. Oh, that's cool. I almost think I like this one better. For the black pearl. Oh, I like that one better as a polish, but yeah. I'm trying to hit the oh, black pearl. Oh, for the black pearl. Okay, let's see. This one. I don't know. They're both interesting. They're both interesting, yeah. And we'll take votes at the end when we get our And I think it's going to be, on. we're going to have to build it up to actually yeah. really see the difference between the two of them. We are. Let's see what happens. We definitely are, because I was playing with them over here. I have them all swatched out all okay. the way. Okay, hang on. i got to look at it. All right. Well, we'll do we'll do our we'll have to do our multiple coats here, and then we'll, yes. then we'll come back. All right, let's let's pause and we'll do that. One. Oh, and the well, the the one okay. thing I did want to say about pearls, they were thought to have a range of health benefits, which range from curing depression, balancing the digestive tract, improving eyesight, and quieting muscle spasms. I feel like that's like this. You need I, to I need to be. I need to bathe in the pearls for sure. Between the digestive and yeah, exactly, and the eyesight. Kristen yeah. needs to bathe in the pearls. Exactly. All right, let's pause. We'll do our multiple coats here and come back. Okay, so we're back. So let's kind of review these pearl polishes. So that first one is uh, Sally Hansen's Silk Is. And it's funny because I feel like that is the one that has the most breast strokes in it, which is a newer polish, which you would think wouldn't do that, but it definitely has more brush strokes in it. And it's supposed to dry matte, but I, I think because it's so pearly, it doesn't really, you can't really see the matte finish on it. All right, and then the second one is the China Glaze Snow Way so pretty i really love that one too and i'm absolutely unbelievably impressed with this pure ice one um i thought it was going to be like brush strokey or it would be not that was two coats and nice. it looks really really pretty and it's called what's it called first love so yeah it's really really pretty if you're looking for a white pearly polish that one definitely definitely is that. i bet you would be a good topper too all right, and then this one that I used as a topper is actually, again, the base is going to be OPI Alpine Snow. And on top of this one is the Kathleen & Co. White Opal Beta. I did do two coats of the Kathleen & Co. on top of Alpine Snow. And it's super pretty. I feel like that one is like 
the the china glaze on steroids yeah you know it's kind of or maybe the china glaze would look more like that if i put it on top of a white i don't know maybe i need to play around with that and then the last one again the alpine snow um is covered with two coats of the zoya leia so and i i feel like i really feel like those represent pearl yeah for I mean, sure i think it is those are pearl nail polishes and if i was going to pick i feel like i love this one the most this pure ice i'm actually really glad i picked that up hmm. that's really pretty i like it okay drum roll okay here's the blacks one is not real black but... <laughs> okay. nope but you know what i you know i like to always throw in my pictures of pearls so if i can find a pearl that looks like that i'll throw it in there yeah and then we'll say yeah it definitely looks like like a pearl so i don't know if it looks like a pearl but it's really it's pretty i think they're both really pretty i feel like we can't see the blue flakies that much. I know. It got covered. So I feel like if we were going to tweak it, either you'd have to add more or we'd have to back off. It does kind of have a little teeny bit of a blue. Like when you're doing that, it kind of Oh, yeah. Of no, I can see it. it. I can see a little yeah. bit of it. Like right, right in the camera there. Yeah. You can see it yeah. right there. Um, but, oh, yeah. I can see it. When I'm looking in the camera, I can see it. Yeah, there's some blue. So They're maybe just it just needs hidden. more. Yeah, maybe. Because you know how I am. Yeah, I know how you are. Yeah, yeah. They're just kind of hidden. I kind of was going for that because you said you wanted a blue-based black. So yeah. that's why I did that for you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And then my that. other one was an epic fail, so. I don't think it's an epic fail. It's well, just for pearl. different. For, I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, if we can find a pearl that there. color. That, like, are there any other facts that we need oh, to know? Oh, there are pearls that color. I uh, see. I told you. Here, throw, throw it in there. There are pearls of I all told colors. you. Yep. See? Yeah, there are all look at those. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like this one. Okay, so there you go. I know I was gonna throw up those pictures, so see? All right. It is a Tahitian. Yay or nay on the Tahitian black pearls. Which one do you like? Which one gets the vote? Do we need both of them? Um, are you more a purist? Do you like just the white pearls over here? I would love to know. I'd like to know where I'm we're going. Partial with this. to the black. Yeah, the blacks are pretty. So I don't know. Any the other ones are too girly and pink. <laughs> But they're very wedding wedding ish. Oh yeah, yeah they'd be great for a wedding. And and maybe that's why you know June is the pearl. It's like the wedding. I mean, and it I mean, is the wedding it's month. It's the wedding month. It's when right? I got married. You know? So not that that's why, but I mean, it just kind of it did work out. It's quite the coincidence. So yes. Well, let us know your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments below. We thank you for joining us in this series. We're having fun doing it, and Jacqueline's having fun making polishes to go along with it. So you know, we'd love to hear from you if you think we should put those up for sale. Thanks for joining us today. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.